What are the implications in, in terms of 2012 and the earth changes? Firstly, people moving onto the divine path, and secondly, your role. And I, I can't. What I'm trying to do, I can't change anything inside of you, right? In fact, I don't want to. What I want to do is assist you to develop a desire to change yourself. I don't want to force you into doing anything. But if you choose to grow on the divine love path, the changes that occur to your soul will be so great that the earth will feel them. Just one person in the first century, in the condition I was in, caused so much change to the world. You imagine all of you being in that same condition. How much change there would be to the world. How, how much progress has happened since you've been teaching? And quite a lot have gone onto the path. Some are in the third sphere. There's, uh, there's one, or, one or so persons in the seventh sphere. There's a few in the sixth and the fifth. And there's quite a lot now in the third sphere, right, in terms of their progression on the divine love path. And as everyone shifts, right at this moment, listening to me, you are shifting. And I can feel the shifts that are happening within you, right? And just the shifts that you make from today will cause a change to what will happen events-wise on the Earth. What is going to happen? Well, the problem is saying what is going to happen. Or what might happen. What might happen. What's the point in talking about what might happen? Okay. It's like, um, I could say what would happen today. But the problem is that for some of you, some of you have fear and that would just scare you and then other ones of you will have certain other emotions. And in the end, what I'm saying is going to happen today it won't happen because some of you will move and progress, and so tomorrow the, the same attractions are not going to occur, so it's not going to happen. So can you see what the conundrum is? This is why, you know, there's been a lot of spirits predicting earth change events, right? You know of uh, ones right, right from olden times even, um, the 1800s and even right in the Bible, earth change events were predicted a long, long time in advance. Now, the problem with every prediction is that they are based on the current soul condition of man. And the problem is they come a lot of times from a natural love spirit who doesn't know what the soul condition of man really is. And it's also subject to choices that are made day by day. Day by day, yeah. So let's say, let's say I began talking about earth change events and all of you became fearful as a result. <laughs> then that would actually lower the, your vibration, if you want to call it that. It lowers your harmony with love. And as a result, the earth change would be more negative, would be more powerfully felt by man in a negative way. Just these transitions as they Self-fulfilling prophecy. Self-fulfilling prophecy. So I don't want to go around scaring everyone about earth change events. What I want to do is focus you on the real thing, which is your soul. That's the real you. Focus on that. Focus on developing that. Make choices based on that. Feel your way through these world changes that are going to come. And often at the beginning it is difficult to know. Um, but as you process through different aspects of love, you can actually feel the divine love inside of yourself. You can feel God's love motivating your decisions. What does it feel like? And um, well what if I just answer that question a bit more first, is so that love your neighbour as yourself, that's when I felt I just knew that was wrong. I just felt there was no love in this. Yeah, that's natural love, by the way. Yeah. That's the love coming from yourself. Love your neighbour as yourself is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is receiving God's love into your soul and you will begin to reflect like God reflects. So it will naturally shine out of you, won't it? Yeah, well, how do you... Like, I know a lot of you think I'm crazy, right? But how are, other than that, how do you feel about me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I felt calm. It was this, I, I could see. I could see in your face. And you can feel it too from, from me, right? Because I love, I love you, right? 
And I can feel that light, right? It's a gentle radiance. Thank you. And you will have exactly that too. Right? And what will happen is everyone around you will notice it too. And you will change. Your life will change. And sure, some of the things you will think, oh, I'm cursing AJ because I wish I'd never gone on this path. <laughs> Natalie tells me that, uh, that I should have come with a warning sign. <laughs> and the Divine Love Path should also come with a warning sign. She doesn't feel that every day, but some days the emotions are a bit rough, right? Because every single emotion that is inside of you that's disharmonious with being at one with God is going to come out if you choose this path. Maybe what you need to do is concentrate on the message, not the message. Yeah, and that's what I would prefer you do. <coughs> Sorry? It doesn't work on the message, it's just so much. I don't know, love and feeling for you that we do what we do, that I can't always just. Concentrate on the message. Yeah, I'll do that too. So I distract you from my own message? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just completely disconnect from the messenger, is not possible. Uh, not always. So Ob obviously, if a person is very angry and they're telling you about love, are you going to connect with that? No. Obviously not, right? <laughs> obviously, for it to be real in terms of a feeling for yourself, you've got to see it reflected in a person who's teaching you these things. And, and that is something that you will need to decide yourself. And, one of the things I wish to be is an example for others to see, well, this is real. It's, it's not a figment of my imagination. Uh, this divine love, this connection with God is not a figment of my imagination. It's real. And I know that if you go through these emotions and you connect with God and you face the truth within yourself, you will feel it's real. You will. It will affect you here and you'll know it's real. In the end, it's not harmful if it's helping you connect emotionally. Yeah. The the thing that becomes harmful is when you're mind dominant. Yeah. That is a very harmful state. And all of us in a state of doubt are at a state of mind dominance. And what we're trying to do is work our way through these emotions to get to get back to, to, get back to here, right? So anything you can do, and this is why I won't decry any religious thing you choose to do, any development thing you choose to do, any self-development you choose to do, any relationship you want to have, anything that you want, do if it's going to lead you through your emotions. 